Okay, so paddle turns, sometimes just called paddles in line dancing. Um, if you've ever paddled a boat, like a canoe or a kayak or anything like that, um, it really very much has the same feel, and I believe that's why they're probably called paddle turns. So when we paddle a boat, we're holding our oar, right, and we, we take it and we, we pull it down till it goes a little bit in the water, right, and then we pull it through the water and we bring it back up and we touch it down into the water and we pull it through the water. So it's kind of just this motion of touching and pulling and touching and pulling. We're going to be doing the same thing, basically, with our right foot, okay? I've never actually seen these go any way other than to the left, all right? So um, what we're going to do is get our weight over on our left. We're going to just plant that left foot into the ground like there's a big stake through it, all right? And with our right foot, we're going to touch it to the ground just like if we were paddling in a boat, right, we touch our oar in and then we're going to, we're not really going to pull it, we're going to push it in this case with our foot. We're just going to push up against the floor and that's going to force our body to kind of turn. Again, this foot's going to stay in here like there's a stake in it, but it's going to slide and obviously you need shoes that are going to slide for this to work, right? Like you should always have one when you're dancing. Um, so again, you're going to touch it to the ground and then just push it. And that's going to push your body and this foot around. So touch, push, touch, push. You're actually pushing the whole time, okay? So typically with paddle turns, the count is going to just be a single count. So it's going to be one, two, three, four. All right, now sometimes I think people will call um, pivot turns, paddle turns, when they do a whole bunch in a row. And, and I can see why, because they're similar, but in pivot turns, we, we put our foot down and we more so put our weight on it and then we turn and put our weight on the other foot, right? We step forward and then we we shift our weight over onto the other foot. So, so pivot turns and paddle turns are similar, but a pivot turn more, we're getting our weight on that right foot and then we're making the turn and shifting our weight. Whereas paddle turns, we're not really putting our weight on the foot that's paddling. We're very much keeping our weight over on the other side. Okay, so keep it over here. Of course, a little bit has to go on it to get that that push in, but we're still keeping it here. So just touch, push, 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 okay? Or paddle, 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 all right? So I hope that helps. Um, just play with that and you'll get a feel for it. But remember, this left foot, it's gotta be able to slide pretty easily, okay? On the, on the toe base of the, your shoe for it to work, okay? So that is a paddle turn in line dancing.